time of two hours, six minutes, and ten seconds. Okay, tell us your name. My name is John Tomac. How did you first get started in, in the sport of mountain bike? Um, like three, this is my third year race, and so three years ago I used to race BMX, and uh, I kind of got out of that a little bit and started riding a mountain bike, and uh, just got into racing, and here I am. What are the things about mountain biking that you like the best? Um, one of the nicest things is you can kind of get away from the cars on the street as opposed to like riding a road bike and uh, you can just get out in the woods where you don't have to worry about anything and it's pretty relaxing. How do you feel about the other mountain biking people? The group of, the, of mountain bikers itself every time you go to a race it's pretty much like a festival so it's, it's a pretty nice scene. Um, I'd say uh, just go out and have fun, you know, and, and if you take something too serious, you're going to get burnt out on it, and uh, that's what I try to do is keep it fun, and even though I'm a pretty hardcore racer, uh, you know, you got to keep it fun, otherwise it's no good anymore. Is, is there any particular time ride that stands out in your memory as maybe your best or most memorable? As far as on a mountain bike goes? Um, I've won a Ross race back east a couple of times. Those were both pretty big wins. Um, this year everything's been going real good. I've been winning all my races, so any of the races this year have, have been nice also. What have you been doing to make sure that you win? Um, just, you know, following a pretty tight training schedule, basically, and uh, making sure I get enough rest. Rest is just as important as, as hard training. Any particular foods or anything like that? Not really. My diet's not too strict. I just kind of keep it low and fast, high in carbohydrates. <laughs> Hardly. Number twenty-two, finishing up. Oh, what kind of tips do you have to increase your speed? Seventeen minutes down. Speed itself, I'd say, um, riding on the street or on a flat surface for speed. Uh, I do some training on my road bike for for the speed itself, but then you want power too, so you got to train in the mountains also. What do you like best about mountain biking? <laughs> That's a pretty tough question. Um, the thing I like best about mountain biking or, or biking itself is, is just kind of the feeling you get of riding it down the road or, or down a trail. It's, it's kind of like freedom in a way. What kind of plans do you have for the future? I heard about the Olympics. Is that the yeah, the, the Olympics are a possibility. I'm going to do the trials in August or the end of July and the beginning of August and uh, hopefully keep racing my mountain bike and, and also road bikes is for maybe 10 more years. Is there ever a time you can conceive that you'd stop riding your mountain bike? Not that I can think of, but you never know what's going to happen. Remember, the expert category is still on the course. Like, um, you say awesome, but what are your favorite words? My favorite words in mountain biking? Or to describe mountain biking. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'd say uh, somebody really hammering. Number 58. Really like you. I would say uh, for someone riding really fast, he's shredding. Yeah. You'd say ripping? Yeah, that too. That works. <laughs> Could you say a couple things like that? Boy, that's ripping. So we can that in later. Something like that. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Give me a line and I'll say it. Just imagine what you would say if you saw somebody really going right that fast. 311. I would say, uh, man, that guy stacked it pretty good. If someone was pulling away from me and I had to catch him, I probably wouldn't say too much, but <laughs> something to the effect that, that he's hammering or he's shredding pretty good. How about um, radical? I'd say <laughs> radical. Radical. What? He's not an actor. He's definitely not an actor. Anything that you feel like saying about the sport of mountain bike, especially to people who are just getting into it and don't know too much about it? Um, I would say, um, don't be afraid to, you know, go out and do some good long or fun rides. And uh, also, you know, you have to be concerned with, with the trail use and stuff like that. And be polite to other people on the trail.
Well, w what other words do you have about land access and that kind of an issue? Um, land access is, is a pretty tough issue. It's because I'm so into race and I don't get too involved with it, but um, I'd say the most important thing is, is for the mountain bike people to be courteous to all the other people, especially hikers and, and horseback riders. On, on the downhills, you have to you know be cautious in blind turns and stuff. Is there anything you're afraid of? <laughs> Not on a bicycle, I don't think. <laughs> Thanks, John. Yep. <laughs>